Okay guys, the purpose of this video is to show you how to set up a Google Alert to find yourself when you show up in Google News, but also use some other methods to find yourself online. So the first one I want to show you is Google Alerts. Um, you can go to alerts.google.com or google.com slash alerts and what you can actually do is put it up so when different search terms show up in Google News um, then you will get an alert here and you'll get an email. So we do a couple different variations here. And if you'll notice I always use quotation marks when I create these. The reason being is there may be so many different ones that come out you'll get so many that are irrelevant to you. Um, this way when you get hits it should only be you. So you do I do my name in quotation marks, my first, middle, and last name in quotation marks um, because there's somebody with a similar name as me. So I've always branded myself as Jeremy Ryan Slate so that I get more relevant in Google. So when any of these things pop up, I get a digest email from Google that says, hey, you popped up in Google News. So what does that mean? This is a regular Google search. Now Google News is a different thing. You can get to it by clicking the news tab on your Google search or going to news.google.com okay cool so this is Google News so if you show up in anything that qualifies as news some articles do some articles don't but if you show up as anything that qualifies as news you will show up on the site so let me show you basically what I'm talking about here so let's look for my name in quotation marks and it'll show you the last time. So, 19 days ago, I was in this Thrive Global article. Uh, Grit Daily, Grit Daily, Grit Daily, Forbes. So, this is any time that Jeremy Ryan Slate shows up. Now, let's get rid of the Ryan. And I'll show you because somebody has a similar name to me, there's just not that many things that show up with my name in it. Okay, so here's two articles from 10 days ago. Um, these were releases we submitted that got picked up and ran in the news. And all this other stuff is related to the other Jeremy Slate. That's why, oh, except this Forbes and this Influenza, um, those are both me. So that's why I use my middle name to make myself more relevant. So setting up Google Alerts for your name and also variations of your name. So if you're a doctor, make sure you put doctor, your first name, last name, and another one with just your first name, last name. Um, if your name's David, make sure you do Dave or David so make sure you set up different variations of that um, how just how I have different variations of these things here as well because you want to make sure if you show up in Google News you show up as well now you may show up in other blogs other podcasts places online but it doesn't quite qualify as news so what do you do you search for your name in quotation marks. Now here's the thing, 20,000 results. I've done a pretty good job on Google and the first bunch of pages are all me. But the issue with this is I want to see any new things that have popped up. So I actually use the tools setting here and I do this once a week. I look for past week. Now this will show me anything that came out in the past week with my name in it. So I just make the time to do this once a week and, and see where I may have come up. But basically now, you it'd be cool if they actually sent you an email of this digest, but they don't. Um, but this is how you can search for yourself and find out if maybe you're in a piece online. Because the thing you'll find out is podcasters don't always tell you when podcasts come out. Um, shocking though it is. Um, writers do not always tell you when they mention you in an article. So you just need to be aware of that and be continually looking for yourself. And this is how I found that. I was featured in some top podcast articles or featured in a blog or featured in different things like that. Um, if you're not doing this weekly, which I do recommend because if something's relevant, I, you'd want to promote it right away, you can also look at the past month and see what's come out as well. And you can see all the different places you were mentioned in the last month as well. So two things that you want to do, make sure you have Google Alerts set up so if you show up in Google News, you're going to get an alert on that. But also make sure to Google your name in quotation marks so you don't get irrelevant results at least once a week and change the setting to past week. Hope you guys found this helpful and uh, let's start finding more media and start getting your attention out there.